There, and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. In this video, we're going to talk about prime numbers. So, what we would like to achieve in the video is we'd like to learn what a prime number is, an understanding of its nature and what, what it's about, and also learn and identify the primes up to 19. Right, let's have a go. Now, the way I like to think of the things is I, I like to say there are two types of number in my opinion, okay, that, to simplify things to start with. There are prime numbers and there are composite numbers. And I've put a picture beside each of those ideas to try and let you understand what the, I might mean by that. Take a second to think what you think I mean by those pictures. So a prime number is the simplest form of number. It is the building block. It can't be broken down anymore. A prime numbers are like building blocks. Okay? Now a composite number is made up of prime numbers. So a composite number is made up of the prime numbers, which are the bricks. It's like a wall. It's made up of a prime here, a prime here, a prime here, a prime here. So the numbers generally fall, apart from one exception, into two categories. They are either prime, they are like a brick, the building blocks of all other numbers, or they are composite. They are the numbers that are made up from the primes being put together. So these are two terms we're going to learn, prime and composite. And let's go a bit further in understanding what they are. So I'm going to tell you uh, that we have a prime number here, a brick, a building block, and it's five. I'm going to tell you that. And we have a composite number here, uh, which is like the wall, made up of uh, the bricks, and I'm going to say it's eight. And I'm going to show you uh, what I mean by them being prime and composite. Now, a prime number. Here we have five blocks. Okay. Now, I can only arrange those five blocks into really one type of rectangle. A five by one rectangle. Now some of you might say, well I could arrange it as one by five. I agree you could, but essentially one by five is the same thing as five by one. There's no difference in that multiplication. Okay, So there is only one way to arrange a prime number and it's five by one. Now there are no numbers, therefore other than one and five, that multiply to five. I can't think of any other numbers that multiply to five. Whereas eight, let's try and do the same thing with eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so obviously, like with all numbers, whether they be prime or composite, you could always write eight as eight multiplied by one. However, there are other options for you to arrange them in a rectangle. You could write them as four. 8 is also 4 multiplied by 2. It's 4 lots of 2 uh, in each column. And you, you could say it's a 2 by 4, but that's the same, or 8 or 1 by 8, that's the same. So, with a prime number, you can't break it up. It's just 5 multiplied by 1. With a composite number, like 8, it's 8 times 1 for sure, but also there is another way of multiplying numbers to get to 8. So that's what prime and composite mean. Maybe you could take a second to try and show me whether 9 is prime or composite with a picture. In five seconds, I'll go through. OK, so let's have a look. I'm saying that 9 is actually a composite number. And the reason 9 is composite, obviously you can write 9 as 9 multiplied by 1, but actually there's another rectangle, or in this case a square, you can arrange them into 3 by 3. So there are different ways, there are other numbers, these numbers 3 can multiply up to make 9 as well as just 9 and 1, so it's composite. Have a go at another one, in 5 seconds I'll show the answer. 10. OK. Uh, hopefully you've had a go at drawing a picture or a, writing a number statement to sh tell me whether 10 is prime or composite. 10 can be written as 10 multiplied by 1, but it can also be written as two, uh, 5 multiplied by 2. Okay, um, It's 5 lots of 2. So, it is a composite number. 
because there are other numbers other than 10 and 1, namely 5 and 2, that can multiply together to make 10. So it's composite. Have a go, 5 seconds I'll go through. Okay, number 7 can only be arranged into one rectangle. There are only two whole numbers that multiply to 7, namely 1 uh, and 7. Okay, so 7 is a prime number. It's one of the building blocks of other numbers. Try the next one. 4. Okay, 4. Actually, 4 can be written as 4 multiplied by 1, but also 2 multiplied by 2. So 4 turns out to be a composite number because although 1 uh, and 4 multiply to give 4, there's also another number, namely 2, that multiplies up to give 4. And lastly, 2, have a think about that, prime or composite. Hopefully, with pretty ease, you'll realise that that's prime. The only way you can arrange that in a rectangle is 2 by 1. Um, there are no other number, whole numbers that multiply to give you 2 other than 1 and 2. So this is a prime number. And that's what we have for prime numbers. So here's the definition to summarise it. You should copy this in your book. For a prime number, a prime number is a positive, and it must be a whole number, with two distinct factors. Okay? Two different numbers that multiply to it. And they are the numbers 1 and the number itself. So, for example, I'll write here, for example, 7 is prime because the only two numbers that multiply to 7 are 7 and 1. 7 multiplied by 1 is 7. They're the only two whole numbers that 7 has. 1 and 7 are its only distinct factors. There are two of them. However, a composite number is also a positive whole number with more than two distinct factors, more than two different numbers that can multiply to it. For example, we said 8 is composite, and the reason it's composite is, yes, although we can say that 8 multiplied by 1 is 8, so 1 and 8 are factors of 8, we could also say that 4 multiplied by 2, for example, is 8, so also 4 and 2 are uh, factors. So it's got more than two factors, hence it's composite. Okay, that's pretty much it. What I'd like you to do is just take a moment, here are the numbers from 1 to 20, try and categorise them as prime, composite, and actually there's one number that goes into a special category. So in 10 seconds I'll show you the answer. Okay, I'm going to show you the answer now. Here we go. So... The primes that we need to know are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. The reason any particular one of them is prime, let's just take 13, for example. The only way you can write that is you can write that as 13 multiplied by 1. The only factors of 13 are 13 and 1. However, let's say one of the composite numbers like 15, the reason that's composite is yes, 15 is 15 multiplied by 1, but also, 15 can be written as, let's say, 5 multiplied by 3. So it has 1 factor, 2 factor, 3 factors, 4 factors in this case. So it's composite. Lastly, 1 is a special number. The reason 1 is special is 1 can only be written as 1 multiplied by 1. And when we define primes, we said they need two distinct, two, that means two different factors. Okay? Like 13 had 13 and 1. 1 and 1 is the same number, so it's not prime, nor is it composite, so it's just a special case. Just want to point out a tiny other thing. 2 is a really interesting number because 2 is the only, all the other primes are odd, 2 is the only, is only even prime. It's the only prime number uh, that is even. Obviously, all other even numbers must be composite because they can be written as 2 times something. For example, 18, regardless of any of its other factors, I certainly know it's 1 times 18, but also I know it's 2 times 9 because it's even. So 2 um, is a factor of it, so it must be composite. So 2 is very special. It's the only even prime. That's all you need to know about prime numbers and composite numbers. Hope you found that video useful. Thanks loads for watching. Catch you again soon.